Hi guys, uh, welcome back to new tutorial. Uh, well, in this tutorial, we are going to see how to interface a UR, UR5 robot, uh, Zen robot, uh, in an IsoCross uh, Omniverse environment and do the raw synchronization process and controlling using an articulation inspector and gain tuning process. Also, we are going to do in this video and is an uh, one of the video and another video is based on controlling the UR5 robot using a move it and after that autonomous navigation uh, that like trajectory planning will be go through and now now we'll start the tutorial and and before that uh, we need to import the URDF model in the uh, isocross environment and we'll see one of the example uh, is given by the isoc examples in a uh, 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 demos of uh, UR5 robot pilotization process in that uh, you can see uh, we can do the pilotization process using a UR10 robot pilotization process and you can do the performance task and you can see the pallet is uh, the box is transferred by the conveyor and the robot is pick and place those box to the conveyor to the pallet and using a vision based uh, technology is using and you can visualize the things and the box is pick and place by the robot using a vision camera and once I move once I move that box from the conveyor it will be detect and it will be do the traffic planning autonomously you can see uh, it is one of the greatest example given by the Isaac Ross universe. You can see now I uh, take over that box from that robot to the conveyor and it will be moving the joints using the vision. You can see here, right? And this is a task I will do in uh, upcoming videos and we will see now how to import this. UDF model of your fire robot in the ISAC environment. Okay, and now go to create and first we need to create a physical environment structure for that. Make a ground plane and in that windows, uh, windows go to ISAC in, uh, in ISAC go to robots. In that, uh, go to universal robot file, import that, and make a play button, play it, and now we import the URD of robot, right? And you did not have this robot in your ISAC, you can clone this robot from the GitHub and convert to the URD from Sacro to URD and import that robot to the ISAC environment. Okay, now we import this uh, Isaac robot, sorry, URD of robot into the Isaac world and we need to control those joints, right? And already mentioned the robot is made up of joints and link, right? Now we need to control those joints. For that, go to Isaac utilities. In uh, Isaac utilities, uh, utilities uh, go to articulator inspector. What is the use of articulator inspector means? It will be control the uh, URDF model joints and uh, links in the kinematics and the possible movement in the robot model and uh, in common format to use description geometrically and like uh, kinematically robotics uh, for uh, especially for the ROS using articulator inspector. Now we need to choose the selection panel by and uh, go to our velocity control and we'll control the joint of the robot using uh, this articulator inspector okay this is the process of articulator inspector exactly it is used for uh, controlling the robot joints and uh, kinematic and possible movements in the robot model okay this is the process of uh, articulator inspector and uh, okay now now the robot joints are controlled by the articulator inspector. Next, uh, we need to control those joints in a exact and a realistic motion planning. So we need to tune like a PID tuning process. So for that, 
or go to I security in that workflow in that game queue. This is the cause of uh, making the robot motion in a realistic portion position. And for that, we already make the uh, selection panel and go to you can see here the shoulder joint is separate, elbow, wrist. So, what are the joints is available on your URDF robot? It will be visualized by the selection of panel and it will be automatically created by those panels. Okay, and we can make the joints movement randomly first. Uh, these are the test velocity, just a random initiation. Okay, you can see the robot is moving now. Browser of uh, tuning browsers of the robot. Okay. And now we tune the robot uh, for making realistic more robot motion planning. Okay. Next process is doing a uh, raw synchronization. For that, uh, we need to go to Windows in that uh, visual scripting action graph. Go to no and type on play on play ticket playback ticket. Okay, on play playback ticket. Next is uh, ROS1 Joint State Publisher. ROS1 Joint State Publisher and Subscriber. We need to pick, pick and place those nodes, Omni nodes to the SQL. And what's the use of these tools, right? That Omni, Omni is across, uh, sorry, a publisher joint state is publishing the velocity command to the joints of the robot and it is subscriber will be receive those joints information from the publisher and uh, publish those joints to the subscriber and this will be control those joints okay and uh, next is articulator controller articulate articulator controller Finally, is a separate simulation. I said, or we need a simulation. Okay, these are the things we need to import first for raw synchronization browsers and pass the simulation and connect the nodes first. Connecting these nodes. Connect joint command, position command, join name, and velocity command. And add a target in that you are fire robot. Add a publisher node target, you are fire robot. And now play the simulation, you will get some error right um, in this order. For that, uh, now we run. Okay, now the error is called no problem. And uh, go to the ROS terminal and ROS topic list uh, ROS topic list list what are the nodes running on your terminal and uh, one of the nodes is joint command and joint state and in this terminal you can see using a uh, joint state it will be show the joints velocity position and the effective values 
Okay, and now we move the robot. The joint velocity will be changed according to the robot motion. Okay, this is the process of articulator inspector. Okay, and the joint state node will be publish the velocity information to the subscriber. Using that, it will be received the uh, velocity information from the subscriber. So, using those information, the robot will be moved to uh, position. Okay, this is a process of uh, uh, raw synchronization and importing the audio model in Isaac. And uh, for more information, you can read my blog from the medium. And give the, I give that uh, link in my description. Follow that. Okay, thank you.